So, a quiet place is actually doing far better than I think anyone expected. Cruel is going to be a flop. <laughs> Not surprising because it's, you know, going to be garbage. Of course, the critics love Cruel because it's Disney. And I bet Disney paid the critics to make sure it didn't get bad reviews, you know, as well. And of course, I think if you looked at my polls, most of the people, you know, would rather see Cruella on Disney Plus. So this is pretty sad, but again, not many people are really interested in that movie, despite the trailer gain. 61 million views, like Disney says it does. It was 61 million views. We're supposed to, you know, question that, of course. We can't question that because, of course, it's Disney. You know, we can't question that. And, of course, it'll probably, Disney will probably make sure it does super well. You know, if, if it's flopping this hard, they're going to pull a Maleficent Mistress of Evil and probably make sure it does super well at the box office, just like that movie did. Even though that movie was projected to flop in my original calculations, but Disney, of course, managed to somehow make people go see the movie, which I highly doubt, you know, considering how bad the movie got reviewed, you know, there. But, yeah, we're talking about the... A Quiet Place Part 2 South Wildly with a 4.8 million in Thursday previews, which means the movie is going to probably gross, closer to the original movie than the actual that has ahead the first films. 4.3 million in Thursday previews, you know, here. And of course, you know, um,. Cruella is not doing too well, 1.4 million. Which means that's like a 20 million opening that is going to be pretty bad for Disney. I don't know the budget for Cruella. But yeah, it's doing worse than worse than Mr. of the Evil. As well. And yeah, it's doing worse than worse than Mr. of the Evil. Which is just hilarious. To see Disney does completely falter. You know, and yeah, Quiet Place is good probably do just as well as the first one. Which is surprising. To say at least. I was expecting it to do like 40 to 40 million. But it might do 50 plus million like the first one did. Okay. 4.8 million for the previews. That's, the, that's very large. That might be the highest opening for a pandemic release ever. But again, Quiet Place Part 2 is a movie that people actually want to see on like Cruella. A movie that people actually want to see. Okay. Nobody wants to see Cruella, okay? Nobody don't want to see it. Again, you'll see Disney fanboys say, Well, it's Disney. I want to see it because it's Disney. But those are the Disney fanboys, and those are the only people who are seeming to sew up for Cruella. Are the Disney fanboys who will give everything Disney a 10 out of 10, give everything Disney perfect reviews, okay? And Cruella's going to flop just like Rare and the Lost Dragon, okay? Cruella plays the same budget as the first movie, so it's going to probably be a massive box of success, but we got to see here, Cruella. Budget. Okay, if it's a small budget, then, then Disney doesn't really have to worry. It has still $100 million. And it only made $1.4 million. We have to really see how it does internationally. How this movie is perceived internationally to see how well it really does at the box office, but... So far, we're going to be another box house failure. Yeah. Here. Yeah. Of course, the critics are saying it's a, saying it's a must-see movie. And so, of course, the critics can say it's a must-see movie. Because, of course, it's Disney. And according to that, according to the critics... Everything made by Disney now is perfection. Even though lazy garbage live action remakes. I think people are trying to get done. Okay. Done with Disney. Okay, I think this is just sewing. Yeah. And yes, people can say because it's but Disney Plus. Disney Plus movies. 
Okay. Where in the Watch Dragon still flopped and Muan still flopped. Okay. Even with this deep partial lead. So I don't know where you're getting your numbers from. You know, of course, this is never gonna, the, the Iron Curtain of Disney Parts is never gonna tell you how well these movies are gonna do. Are doing on Disney Parts. Of course, the Iron Curtain of Disney. Of course, you have Yahoo experts saying the movie that Muan made $100 million in Disney Parts was still, and still makes the movie in the red. Okay, I don't know where the same game Mulan is success from because the movie is still in the red. Even if it made hundred million dollars, if we say, if we say, why did hundred million dollars? Why is still in the red because it cost hundred fifty million dollars to make. Okay, so both films are a flop. Okay, and let's just assume, if we assume that that Cruella does as poor as it's doing right now, and opens even worse, like a fifteen million dollar opening, and ends with like a forty to fifty million dollar. Gross and the goalie goes to hundred million dollars. Yes, it will probably go. It will probably make back its money with Disney Plus, unlike the other two movies. But we will never know the true gross of Raya on um, no on Disney Plus. We will never know the true success of of you know Raya on the premium. And I don't really think many people really paid a premium price for Raya and the Lost Dragon and Mulan. Okay. I don't think anyone even paid the premium price for Raya and the Lost Dragon. I think Raya was such a, such a big flop that nobody really cared to see it. Of course, you know, Disney fanboys just tell you that it was a success. You know, of course, you know, obviously ignoring all the actual facts. Because that's what Disney fanboys do. They ignore the facts and they say Disney's movies are successful. And because Disney's amazing, basically just like that, you know... Which is absolutely hilarious Disney fanboys would say that every Disney movie is a success, even though that's false. You know, we have the lots of movies that flopped. Okay, Soul was a flop. Okay, because they didn't make any money on it. Because they released it only on Disney+. Plus. You know, in America, it was, only, it was actually for free. Free as well. So... So we're gonna really see how Cruella does. It might it might do poor moves and, and you know might do extremely bad at first and you know somehow magically because it's Disney fanboys, you know, won't going to go see the movie, somehow magically does better at the box office than it really does. So we're gonna really see what how it does. Cry plays are set off to be a massive success, I think, you know, Dale. Massive box office success, you know. Especially for the horror genre, which is a genre that doesn't really do too well because a lot of horror movies suck and get bad reviews, okay? Like, Spiral isn't doing too well at the box office. It's basically, and that's another Saw movie. You know, another one of the 20 Saw movies that release, you know, how many Saw movies do we really need? I've I never seen a Saw movie. I don't ever plan to see one, but, you know... But the saw spiral is a is looking to be a box office failure, failure basically, and that movie is a bigger budget saw movie, not only twenty million dollar budget too. But I think it's still gonna make back its money at the end from Blu-ray, digital streaming, and that stuff because it has such a tiny budget that it can make back its money, and it won't really be a box office failure. It only made twenty three million dollars at the box office, but. I think A Quiet Place is going to really destroy this movie at the box office. Spiral from the Book of Saw. And yet that's basically about this video. Goodbye.